Hi everyone, this is Charity with the Spiegel Mom Scraps Design Team Sparkler video. Today I'm going to showcase one of my favorite set of stamps by a Waffle Flower. Um, it's this beautiful little set with a ton of little stamps in it. And so I'm going to use this big thank you and the pink to red, but I'm doing it in order red to pink, Hero Arts uh, Ombre Ink Pad that I recently got. Now, this stamp has a lot of solid space on it, and I have a little trouble with this, so if I mess it up, I'll just do it again. These shipping tags are amazing. That looks good. I think that looks really good. Okay, so my thank you turned out well. Yay! And so I'm gonna clean my stamp. This is a dye ink, and so if you don't clean your stamp really well, you may find it coming off on other projects. Um, you can also stamp it off to make sure it's clean. Red, oh, excuse me. Red is really difficult sometimes to get off your stamps, but this came out really nicely. And so I'm gonna use, there's some little teeny, there's a ton of stamps on here. There's a little cutie patootie heart. Um, it's a little wonky heart and a little star and some dots. So I'm gonna use these as kind of a confetti and I'm gonna do some random stamping in the different ombre colors. So we'll see how this works out for me. I haven't made this particular card before, so. And I'm dipping into different colors and I'm slightly twisting how I'm putting the stamps. Oh, I got a little schmutz there. Alright, so I'm going to stamp there and a little bit off the page. And then here. And we're going to go down into the lighter colors. Kind of like it. Most of that was off, so it's okay. And like I said, I'm trying to just twist it around. And I'm going into the different parts of the ink pad. So sometimes the colors are all three the same, and sometimes they're a little mixed. And that is, you know, pretty intentional on my part. I want to get it right up next to these are light. My main image. I wipe these off. I'm gonna do another stamp. So let's okay. stamp it off. Make sure they're clean. I'm only gonna ink up the asterisks. Right there, okay, and it's okay if everything is not perfect. I mean, it's a handmade card, so if you want perfection, um, go buy one. Like I said, all my images are on the stamp together, so kind of nice. It's kind of quick. Kind of like it a lot. It's not at all perfect, but that's okay with me. Alright, so there my heart didn't stamp, so I'm going to clean the other two. Oh, I just moved my dot. Oh no. It's not really that big a deal. I just didn't want to drop it, which I did, but it landed on the block. So this is a teeny tiny stamp, you guys. Okay. So now I'm only going to ink up the heart. I'm going to put it right here where I just messed up stamping the heart. And we're going to stamp some more. Now, these tags from Jody Shop are a little slick, so. You want to be aware of that when you're stamping them, and I am just, I'm excited because I'm getting to the end, and so I'm messing up a little bit. I'm sorry if 
probably just put my head in the camera if I did. I'm really sorry. Okay, so just a few more places. And again, I'm, I'm sorry I'm stamping really poorly all of a sudden. I really, really like how these stamps hold the ink. They're teeny, but they're making beautiful impressions every time. And I am going with more of the dark colors towards the top of the card. I just realized that. So going back down into the lighter colors. Just stamping here and there. Okay. So that looks like a total confetti card. And I am going to add another one of these tags to be for my message. I'm going to tie them with some ribbon from Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop. This is a beautiful pink and white gingham. I'm just going to put this in here. I'll loop it around. Because I think this looks cute. I didn't want a bow. I wanted like one loop of a bow. And then I'm going to stick this little teeny, eeny, weeny, eeny, 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 teeny, weeny clothespin just on the ribbon. Okay. And I'm going to do these ends at an angle, but I want them cut above my little thank you sentiment. So I'll paper tint those, and then I can write my message right in here, and I've got this adorable little bag from these Sweet Bees. I'll put a link below. And I'm going to use this 100% love stamp that I just dropped in the floor. I'm going to use this 100% love stamp to decorate. This 100% love is just barely big enough to wiggle on all the colors. I don't know if you've used these ink pads, but if you go up and down and back and forth, that'll get you a good image coverage. And I don't want to put it on the bottom because the very bottom is very uneven. So that's adorable. And then here is my thank you card and its little package. How sweet is that? Okay, you guys, that was my project for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Sorry if I got off camera a little bit. Have a great day.